good morning students today we are going to learn regarding the rails tube as you can see my hand this is the rails tube it is also known as the nasogastric tube as you can see it is written it is a sterile by the ethylene oxide it is a non toxic non pyrogenic disposable here you can see the size is written it is of 18 size fg means french gauze then you have to check the manufacturing date as well as the expiry date so it is invented by the abraham louis levin it comes into the different size from the 4 french scale to the 18 french scale now the main purpose of using the ng tube is to give feeding to the patient to provide medication for the gastric lavage as well as gavage and sometime it is also used for the aspiration of the stomach contents for the investigation process so it comes into the different material the material here is used is of pvc it is also made up of the polyurethane as well as the silicon so the length is 125 cm that is the standard length which we are using commonly now we will see the parts so here you can see this part is known as the tip part this part is known as the tip part then here you can say there is a green line which is also known as the radio opaque line so that we can see that where it is inside the stomach then you can see here there are holes multiple holes are there also known as the lateral eyes sometime the gastric contents may be clogged here so that's why there are multiple holes so that we don't find any problem then you can see the tip is blunt a traumatic so that there will be no trauma in the stomach after this this whole part is known as the body part and this part is known as the base part in the body what you have to remember is that there are the markings so in this we can see there are basically three markings are there first marking then the second marking and then the third marking each marking has a centimeter and it tells that where it is located in the body so whenever there is a first marking it means that the tip is in the stomach it is at the 50 cm the second marking will come at the 60 cm and it shows that the ng tube is in the pylorus part and the third marking is in the duodenum it is of 70 cm so this marking help us to understand that where it is located so it is very important for all of us to always note down the marking of the inserted now whenever you insert the ng tube it is very important to know that how to measure the ng tube so for measuring you must know that how to measure it so always remember from the nose tip to the ear lobe and from 5 cm less to the gyphostrum process so that is how you have to check the length of the rails tube to be inserted so it it is used only for once time and whenever we insert the ng tube as it is made up of the pvc material that is the polyvinyl chloride so you must remember it should not be used then more than the 6 weeks otherwise it may causes the infection to the patients so that is important part apart from that whenever it is inside the patient you must have to check that where it is the golden standard is to use the chest x ray so that we can identify where it is located now the commonly which we are using earlier that was the wush method so we have to take a syringe of 10 ml then we have to push air and then we have to hurt from the stethoscope so this is also now another thing from which we can check that whether it is in the place in the place or not for that we can aspirate here from the syringe if it is a stomach content then the ph will be 5.5 or more than that so these are the three four methods from which we can check that whether it is on the place or not so this is all about the rails tube thank you